everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on one of my favorite topics, fruity berry perfumes. I am a huge fan of anything with a berry note in. I'm talking about raspberry, strawberry, blackberry, blackcurrant, that type of vibe. Um, I love those perfumes. There's been a couple of new releases that have come out and also some classics that I wanna take you through. And um, so I'm gonna be taking you through the best berry perfumes. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos going through a whole perfume ranges, reviewing all new releases. So do check out my other videos. And I also have my blog where I have really in-depth articles um, on, everything you can imagine really and I do have articles on best strawberry perfumes, best raspberry perfumes, best blackcurrant perfumes etc so I leave those linked in the description box where I'll also link to where you can buy all the perfumes that I talk about around the world and in the description box you can sign up to my newsletter and you can order Empress My Perfume which has a strawberry top note. Cool, so uh, where to start? So I think I'm gonna start with a relatively new release, which is Kayali's um, Eden Juicy Apple. Now, obviously the name is Apple and there is a red apple note in here, which is noticeable. But for me, the main note and the thing that this perfume is all about is those mixed red berries. It's got raspberry, black currant in, it's really, really like a fruity fruit punch. And it does have a good like vanilla, bit of jasmine, sugary base. Um, so it's not just berries. It's not just apple and berries. Um, it does have some body and depth to it. It's an eau de parfum. Um, it's a really lovely combination. And you know, the Kaioli fragrances are quite um, serious. They're well made. They're pretty good for lasting. Um, so when they came out with one that was all about berries and apples I thought um, that's great because often people associate berry perfumes with like cheaper perfumes that like I don't know or don't last or whatever and I thought it was great that a like reputable brand like Kaioli was bringing out perfume that was all about berries so I think if you really like that sugary berry vibe then this is definitely one you have to try i know so many people that love this they've actually just brought out a new one called love first burning cherry which is a smoky black cherry so i, I wanted to include that in the list as well because it's obviously got cherry in which is like that kind of fruits of the forest berry scent and um, but it's a bit darker deeper um definitely winter whereas i'd say juicy apple is probably more towards the summer but you could wear it um any time of year maybe it's more daytime and then burning cherry is more nighttime but if you like black cherry that dark cherry and then it has this burning fire like bonfire night feel to it as well it's really nice um but yeah a bit more sexy nighttime um but definitely two great very fruity perfumes from Kaioli. So next on the list is um, one of my personal favorite perfumes of all time, YSL Mon Paris. Um, this has a strawberry top note. Um, it's also very rosy, it has a patchouli base as well. Um, it's amazing for lasting. I find it really lasts well on me. Um, as you can see, I'm almost out of it. Um, and I wear it all throughout the year. I wear it at daytime, evening. I can always rely on it to last. I always get compliments when I wear it. And YSL tends to be all about their black opium perfume. You don't really hear about Mon Paris, um, but I love Mon Paris. It's definitely my favorite from YSL. And it's definitely in like, my top five perfumes that, um, that I wear all the time. It's such a hidden gem. If you love strawberry, um, it's like a feminine, pretty, but strong perfume. And the strawberry is like, I'd say a third of the scent. The other third is like rose and then that sort of white floral and patchouli. Mm, I love it. So one that is actually kind of similar to Eden Juicy Apple from Kayali is Britney's Midnight Fantasy. This is a perfume that I've had since it came out, like 
however long that ago was, 20 years maybe. This is all about those fruity berry notes and it doesn't really have much of a deeper base note underneath. It's sweet, sugary, strong, fruity berries. The lasting power on this is so good. You can usually get 100 ml for like 19.99 usually um, here in the UK, really affordable. And I always used to, back when I was younger and I used to go out <laughs> um, to like nightclubs and stuff, I always used to wear this because um, I could spray it all around, you know, clothes, hair, and it, it would last. And it was like sweet and fun and evening and girly and I could rely on it to last and the next day I would always wake up and I'd be able to like smell it everywhere in my hair and stuff so really good lasting power really affordable I have a work article that goes through all the Britney fantasy perfumes because there are some real hidden gems in there so shameless plug of course for Empress my perfume um this is a strong Eau de Parfum Intense and it has a wild strawberry top note um, and then you're getting a patchouli rose and a popcorn base which is warm I'd say it's more wintry and it's kind of inspired by Mr. Your Cherie if you ever smelt that which was um, my favorite perfume discontinued a long time ago so it has that popcorn echoes that that has and it has of course my beautiful star cat with my logo on I'm so proud of it I'm totally designed from scratch and um, funded through Kickstarter so I shamelessly of course had to include this because strawberry really is one of the main notes here and it's quite a green strawberry and um, that wild strawberry scent but then it's got lots of other notes in here that make this last all day it's really strong so another great strawberry perfume is Burberry Her. Um, this is a warm, sweet, sexy, musky strawberry. Um, it's like a small strawberry version of Baccarat Rouge from Maison Francis Kirk Jeanne um, and like a more strawberry version of Cloud as well. It's pretty good for lasting and there's also an intense version which has um, those berry notes in as well. It's definitely, um, quite sophisticated even though it has that strawberry in I think you could wear this to the office you know to somewhere relatively serious and not worry about the fact that it's like a berry perfume because it has all these other notes in as well and they just brought out an elixir version which has um, jasmine in it's really pretty I'll um, leave the link to that video down below but this is nice if you like your strawberries but you want other stuff going on and you want something quite warm and cozy again I'd say it's more wintry night timey but it's great perfume I think it's been a real success for Burberry this release. So next up we have the new Jimmy Choo I Want You Forever that's just come out a few weeks ago. This is a cherry perfume mixed with some rose and floral notes. Um, it's slightly sour cherry um, and it's not that black cherry like in the um, Kaioli fragrance it's much more of an actual like picking a cherry off the tree cherry and um, it's eau de parfum it's got pretty good lasting power and I think this is my favorite cherry perfume at the moment <clears throat> um, definitely worth trying this if you like cherries I think this is a pretty safe blind buy um, the other sort of famous cherry perfume is Guerlain's Le Petit Robe Noir um, but this also has a lot of almond in it's quite heavy and a bit of licorice so I'm kind of not including it on here officially because even though it is very cherry and berry it has a lot of other stuff going on like I'd include this in a best almond um, video as well but beautiful bottle so I wanted to show it and then lastly another one of my top five favorite perfumes Trezor Midnight Rose this is such an iconic fragrance I'm so terrified they're going to discontinue it um, it's a cassis fragrance so that's like black currant and it's really syrupy imagine a black currant liqueur mm, um, it's feminine it's sexy I wear this at night time it's good for lasting and I I've read that people have found that a newer versions of like they've gone and bought it and feel like it doesn't smell the same. I got another one of these recently from Natino and it does smell the same. So um, I'll leave the link to it there at Natino because if it has been reformulated, I guess Natino's stock isn't the latest stock, I don't know. And I have asked Lancome and they, they said it hasn't changed. So I love it, I'm obsessed. 
yeah, there's nothing else that smells like this. It's cassis, black currant. It's really syrupy and, and tasty and lovely. Um, and it's eau de parfum. It really lasts and stays on your clothes and stuff. I love it. Um, and I love the bottle as well. I think it's really pretty. Cool. So that's my rundown of my favorite berry perfumes. Let me know what yours would be your favorite, like fruits of the forest perfumes. Um, let me know what other ones you'd add to this list down below. And like I said, links in the description to where you can buy all of these and also to my articles that go into the best of all the different types of like berries and fruits of the forest. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, that really helps me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.